final two races of the 2020 SACCS took place over a single weekend in the free state town of Parais. First up was the Ford Parais 400, round four of the championship. Welcome to the free state, where there was plenty of adrenaline and action. Proudly brought to you by Toyota Kazoo Racing, Ford, Total Quartz and Pirelli. Welcome to Parais, and more precisely, the Parais Airfield, which served as the DSP and Race HQ for the Ford Parais 400, the penultimate round of the Topsy Turvy COVID delayed 2020 season of the South African Premier Cross Country Racing Series, the SACCS. Run with COVID protocols in place. The race took place without spectators once again, and access to the DSP was restricted. Even so, there was a festive atmosphere and a sense of excitement in the air. And no wonder, since not one of the championships had been decided yet, and there was still a lot to play for here in Parais. Here's how things stacked up after the first three rounds of the 2020 season. In Class FIA, it was Toyota's Henk Lauterkhan ahead of Tunil de Villiers, with Brian Baragwana now up to third after his second place finish at the Total Agri 400. Class T saw the Horns move back into the lead with just two points between them and Terence Marsh, whilst Force Prince Lou passed Gary Bertolt for third on the log. In the special vehicle category, Tim Howes had pulled out a lead over Clint Gibson and Sandra Yonk in Class A, whilst Nico Durant was just ahead of Peter Walter and Dean Bradbury after three rounds of racing. But those are just the cold, hard facts. Here's a more detailed look at the players, as well as their plans for the weekend in Paris. Toyota Zoo Racing SA's Hank Lauterkhan seemed set for a second consecutive championship, and the youngster knew what he had to do. We're going to have to focus and keep that very team for, for the final. But teammate Janil de Villiers had never been one to give up, even if it meant he had to win both races to keep the chase alive. Oh, I mean, then quite simple. We've got to win both, but then, you know, uh, what happens, happens. So uh, we'll try our best today. In Class T, Terence Marsh had dropped just behind the Horn brothers in the title chase, but with just two points separating them, the red line Nissan driver was still in with a shout. Yeah, so everything's come down to the end now. It's, uh, it's obviously exciting times, but uh, yeah, it's a double round. So there's, uh, while well, we've got to be fast, we've also got to be clever. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be really interesting. As for Johan Horn, the Malalan Toyota Hilux driver was somewhat surprised to find himself leading the championship. No, I think uh, we're actually surprised to be leading Class D with all our issues this year. So uh, yeah, well, let's see what happens today. The special vehicle category saw Tim Howes open up a slight gap to his nearest rival. The Zarco Magnum driver looked on course to win his first title. At the same time, Nico Durant had a slender lead in Class G, but had also shown consistent form during 2020 to go into the penultimate round with the championship firmly in his sights. So those are the players as well as the points. Next order of business was to go racing in Paris. But before we can do that, Here's the Ford Castrol Cross Country team's team principal, Neil Woolridge, with some insight into the race itself. Yeah, look, we're very proud to have a Ford event. And it's been a while since we had a Ford event, so yeah, we're very, very proud to, to call this the Ford 400 Ford race. So, yeah, it's a lot of exciting times. Oh, and one interesting little tidbit as well. SACCS president Archie Rutherford entered the race with his younger son Justin, appearing with possibly the largest age gap in the sport. Not only that, but Rutherford Sr., who has many years of experience in the sport, would tackle the Ford Parais 400 from behind the wheel of a Class G side by side for the first time. But I've managed, I've managed, they put the seat as far back as they can, as low down as they can, and so I'll get in. I don't know how I want to get out, but I'll get in. The Ford Parais 400 was the first of two races on the weekend of the 23rd and 24th of October. And since the organizers had to fit two events into just two days, the Pirelli qualifying race was truncated to just 14 kilometers. This short, sharp sprint was used to determine the starting positions for the main race, which followed shortly after the qualifier. The qualifying turned out to be a tough one for the first car into the loop, which was TGRSA's Variawa and Murphy. The pair managed only seventh fastest, losing 32 seconds to the leaders after struggling to find the route in places. Ahead of them 
the monstrous Century CR6 of Brian Baragwanath and Tay Perry went eight seconds faster to claim six, whilst they had the hard-charging Ford Rangers of the two Woolridge brothers romping into fourth and fifth place. Lance Woolridge with Elvin Vonk beside him, posting exactly the same time as brother Gareth alongside Boyd Dreyer. The Ford Castrol cross-country team setting times of 9 minutes 28 seconds in the process. The first step of the qualifying podium for the production cars belonged to Toyota Gazoo Racing SA's Chanel de Villiers, now racing with Alex Harrow from Spain, who managed to make the trip to SA despite the COVID pandemic. The pair set a time of 9 minutes 24 seconds, bettering the Fords by 4 seconds. The two fastest crews on the day were Chris Fisser and Donnie Stassen in the Total Exilium Toyota Hilux, who set the exact same time as TGRSA's Hank Lardekhan and Brett Cummings, some four seconds ahead of de Villiers. Behind the class FIA cars came Johan and Werner Horn in the Malalan Toyota Hilux as the first of the class T cars home. They were followed by a gaggle of Fords, with Jacques Van Tondre and Sammy Redlinghase setting the second fastest time, 23 seconds, behind the Malalan Toyota crew. They pipped Fords Prince Lou and Andre Vermeulen by a single second, who in turn led Malcolm and Franz Koch into third of the Fords by two seconds. A close run affair all round. The gap was much bigger in the special vehicle category, where Lance Trithui and Adrian Roots posted a time of 9 minutes 31 seconds to take pole. 54 seconds ahead of Tim Howes and Gary Campbell in a second place. Class Dorwards, Sandra and Yako Yonk followed some 27 seconds later to round out a Class A qualifying podium. Class G saw Hanno Biermann and Peter De Beer set the early pace as they posted a time of 10 minutes and 3 seconds. Well clear of Christo Rose and Ono Olafia, who in turn took second place 36 seconds back. The De Beers, Jean and Michael, went third fastest, joining us from the regional categories and posted a time 14 seconds off second place. Let's take a quick look at the qualifying results in each category. Lardekhan and Cummings tied with Fisser and Stassen for the fastest time, with De Villiers and Harrow making up an all-Toyota top three. The first class to your home was that of the Horn brothers, with Van Tonda and Redlinghase in second and Prince Lure and Vermeulen taking third. Trithui and Roots were the fastest of the open wheelers, with Howes and Campbell in second and the Yonks taking a three spot. And finally, Class G saw Beerman and De Beer at the top of the charts with Rose and Olafia in second and the De Beers taking third. With the dust settling over the Pirelli qualifying race, it was time for some rest and repairs in the DSP before tackling the main event later that same morning. In between, the SACCS continued its tradition of giving back to the communities in the areas where the races take place, with the handover of school shoes to some needy recipients. But it wasn't long before it was time to go racing once again.